What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with you, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all know what to do. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. If you come through and view the video, be sure to hit that like button, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And also comment down below so we can chop it up and talk boxing. You know what I mean? We can't do that unless y'all leave comments. So be sure to comment down below, man. And if you want me to hop on the panel with you, or you want to collaborate with me, or if there's a subscriber request video that you want me to shoot for you, you can reach out to me on my email address at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. That's knockoutboxing, the number eight, the number six, at yahoo.com. But without further ado, let's get it popping and get into today's video, bro. So check this out, man. Manny Pacquiao is all but confirmed to be fighting against Mikey Garcia this summer. And your boy, the prediction king, bro, the prediction guru has struck again, bro. We get our predictions right inside and outside the ring, bro. I've been telling y'all since I started this channel and since these rumors been coming around about who Manny Pacquiao going to fight, I've always told y'all it makes the most sense for it to be Mikey Garcia, bro. And um, Manny Pacquiao's business manager, his name is uh, Arnold Vigafria, has came out on his Instagram and basically confirmed the fight, bro. This is somebody that is Manny Pacquiao's business partner and his manager and that is in the circle. And he is saying that Mikey Garcia and Manny Pacquiao are confirmed to fight in, um, you know, the United Arab Emirates, bro. Abu Dhabi. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be fighting out there in the Middle East. And um, it's going to be this summer, man. And this makes sense to me, bro. This is exactly the type of fight that I thought Manny Pacquiao would come back to. But it begs to question a few things, man. And we're going to break them all down, bro. We're going to break them all down. So, first of all, what does this mean for just the welterweight division? I don't know, man. It could have huge implications because... When you go back a few months and you look at what the WBA said before they downgraded Manny Pacquiao to champion in the recess, they said if you fight somebody in our top 10 rankings, you know what I mean, we will not um, strip you of your super title. Ma Mikey Garcia is in their top 10 rankings. So now, can Manny Pacquiao go back and petition the WBA, hey, my fight is being announced, I'm fighting Mikey Garcia, I'm fighting Mikey Garcia, I want my belt back. I'm petitioning y'all to give me my belt back because y'all said if I fight somebody in the top 10 rankings, I get to keep my belt. So he could petition that. And then the WBA would obviously highly consider it because although Earl Spence versus Jordanus Ugas is a big fight, Manny Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia is a big fight as well and could potentially get them more sanctioning fees. So is that what the holdup is for Earl Spence and Jordanus Ugas being announced? You feel what I'm saying? What's what, what's going on with this situation? So that's something for us to keep an eye on, man. It's something for us to keep an eye on because they could definitely do that. Manny Pacquiao and his team could definitely do that if this fight is indeed announced. And you see where Mikey Garcia is ranked, you know, he's in the top 10. And so if, if that's the case, he could very well petition to get his super belt back, bro. He could very well petition to get his super belt back and block the road to undisputed. You know what I mean? So we got to keep an eye on that. That's one implication that it could have moving forward as we look at what's going to happen this summer, which, you know, I'm I, I'm all for, for undisputing and unification. So I'm hoping that it doesn't because I don't think either Manny Pacquiao or Mikey Garcia, whoever, let's say that he petitions, my, Manny Pacquiao petitions to the WBA to get his super belt back since he is facing somebody in their top 10 rankings. Let's say he does that. And at the end of the day, Udine guys did not win that belt. So, they would definitely highly consider it. Manny Pacquiao is a huge name. You know, who, who's to say they wouldn't do that? So let's say that they do that, just being hypothetical. If they give Manny Pacquiao his belt back and he fights M Mikey Garcia, neither one of those winners, neither one of the pe person that would win that belt, bro, would be inclined to fight Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford. Neither one of them, bro. Neither one of them because Earl Spence already beat the shit. Out of Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia don't want them problems again if he were to beat Manny Pacquiao, which is possible. 
And then Manny Pacquiao has already shown through the years, bro, he does not he's not fighting Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence, bro. He's just not. So that super WBA belt, it's just gonna be held on. It's just gonna be held up, bro. It's just gonna be held up if the WBA gives him his belt back. Now I know it ain't their job to care about that shit. Well it actually is. They should care about unifications. But they money hungry and they're gonna chase money, whichever one gonna offer them the most sanctioning fees. So if you um if you your Dina Zoo guys, if you if you Earl Spence, man, y'all need to get that fight announced ASAP, bro. I need to get that fight announced ASAP and and cause I cause I can see this shit happening and playing out that way, bro. So that's one thing to keep an eye on. That's one thing to keep an eye on. The other thing to keep an eye on is now who is Terrence Crawford gonna fight? Cause Manny Pacquiao looks like he's off the board, bro. By all intents and purposes, he is off the board. His team is coming out saying it's gonna be Mikey Garcia, bro. His team is coming out saying it's gonna be Mikey Garcia. So, with that being off the board for Terrence Bud Crawford, who by some reports people are saying he took it off the board himself by not signing, and then Manny Pacquiao signed his um signed his portion of their contract. I don't know how true that is. I dropped a video on it, but again, the caveat is I don't know if that's true or not. But let's just say that. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter if it's true in this instance. What matters is Terrence Crawford is not fighting Manny Pacquiao. So who is going to be his next opponent? This has implications on that because now Manny Pacquiao is off the board for him. I already knew he was off the board, but now, you know, people that were just really, really holding on to that dream of, of Terrence Crawford getting the Manny Pacquiao fight, even they have to let that shit go now. So who is his next opponent going to be? Some shit has started to shake out. Sean Porter was moved to number two. Virgil Ortiz has been moved to number one. Virgil Ortiz fights under the zone. Bob Arum is much more friendly and much more amicable towards doing business with the zone than he is PBC. You know what I mean? So him and Eddie Hearn can probably come to an agreement. Virgil Ortiz would be willing to take way less money than Sean Porter. I'm 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 leaning towards Virgil Ortiz getting that fight, bro. I'm leaning towards Virgil Ortiz looking like he's gonna get the Terrence Crawford fight, bro. That is the most realistic, best opponent that fits Bob Aram's criteria. And what I mean by that, they team probably feels like it's a more favorable matchup of the opponents that are left. You know what I'm saying? Definitely a more favorable matchup than Sean Porter. And if Keith Thurman is on his shit, Virgil Ortiz is a more favorable matchup than, um, than either of those guys right now at this point in his career. And he's cheaper. He's cheaper than both Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. And he's not a PBC fighter, which both Sean Porter and Keith Thurman are. And we all know the rocket relationship, the cold relationship between Al Heyman and Bob Abram. They don't really do business unless they absolutely have to, bro. And so it just, it's, it's just lining up that way, bro. It just is. It's looking like Terrence Crawford's next opponent is going to be Virgil Ortiz, bro. A promoter that he's more friendly with. Somebody that's going to cost him less money that's cheaper. And somebody that they feel like Terrence Crawford has a good chance to beat. So, Manny Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia has that implication on it, right? And then also, the implication of more big fights, not just in the welterweight division, but in the boxing, going over there, bro. If they pull this off, if the, if, if the investors in the Middle East, if they're able to pull this off, get Manny Pacquiao over there, have a big fight with, um, with, with Mikey Garcia, um, you know, it has a lot of eyes on it. If it does well on pay-per-view, if the production is great, if the event is great, if the card is great, then they open themselves up to doing more business and having even more big events and big fights over there in that country, bro. So it, it has that implication. All in all, though, I like the fight for Manny Pacquiao. It's still an active fight, you know. It's still somebody that could challenge him. And, um, you know, he deserves to fight who he wants to fight. So I have no issue if indeed Mikey Garcia is going to be his opponent. The only issue that I would have is that if the if Manny Pacquiao petitions to get his super belt back and the WBA obliges, you know what I'm saying? And that ain't me hating on Manny Pacquiao. I just believe if he's giving back that super WBA belt, and let's say he wins, because we already talked about what would happen if Mikey Garcia wins. Mike Garcia ain't fighting Earl Spence again, bro. He's just not. And I don't know if he's getting there with Terrence Crawford either. Manny Pacquiao, he's not fighting either one of them, and and he's much more inclined to 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 not fight for like another year or two years. Like he'll take a long hiatus and just hold on to the belt. So for the sake of boxing, bro, for the sake of us getting that big fight between Terrence Crawford and Earl Smith Jr., 
I hope either A, Manny Pacquiao doesn't petition to get his super belt back since he might be fighting Mikey Garcia, or B, if he does petition to get his super belt back, I'm hoping that um, WBA says no, not going to happen. We've already made our decision, and they move on this way because I think the only path, the only way that Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fight at this point is if it's for undisputed. They've had an opportunity to just unify, you know, three-belt unification and two-belt unification. They've had that opportunity for like two and a half, three years or whatever. And for whatever reason, we haven't gotten that fight. In order to push these two brothers to fight each other, it got to be a huge mega fight, which it already is. And it got to be for Undisputed to just make the fight as big as possible and make it to where neither one of these brothers have anywhere to go but to fight each other. And that's what it's looking like is on the path to happening in 2021. And so um, that's what I'm rooting for, bro. No shade towards Mikey Garcia. No shade towards Manny Pacquiao. I think if they fighting for the Super WBA title, it's just putting the division on hold even more. And I don't want that. I want unifications, undisputed. And so I'm pushing for you, Dennis Ugas, to keep the Super WBA belt. I know some people may disagree with it because he didn't fight for that belt. But I agree with it because I know he will fight other champions, bro. Neither one of the other guys, Mikey Garcia and Manny Pacquiao, at this point in their career, I don't think they're fighting other champions, bro, if they were to get that belt. They're just going to parade it around, maybe do some easy-ass voluntary defense with a favorable matchup, maybe some mandatory defense with a favorable matchup, but they will not fight the other champions, bro, that have the belts right now. So I don't want them fighting for that belt. Let's keep it where it's set so we can get unification, so we can get undisputed, and hopefully, man, have that shit by the end of the year. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Again, Manny Pacquiao's business manager and his business partner has come out and said Manny Pacquiao versus Mikey Garcia is all but confirmed for this summer. They're just waiting on the date and the venue, but it's all but confirmed. We ain't going to call it all the way confirmed because I don't like saying this shit is signed, sealed, and delivered until I know when it's going to happen and where it's going to happen, bro. But right now, all signs are pointing to that because this is an actual source from somebody within Manny Pacquiao's camp and not these bullshit-ass unnamed sources that be coming out with some of these stories, bro. So I'm going to rock with it. I'm going to believe it until proven otherwise. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Is this a good fight? You know, should Manny Pacquiao get his super belt back since he's fighting Mikey Garcia? Um, What are your thoughts on all this shit, man? Let me know down in the comment section. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Um, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. You know what I'm saying? If you want me to hop on the panel, collaborate with me. Or if there's a subscriber request video you want me to shoot, reach out to me on my email address at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. I appreciate everybody watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out here. Peace.